Hi guys, so I am working on the bathroom. I have been busy working on the bathroom for weeks now, um, but I'm finally ready to start the medicine cabinet. So let me show you what my plan is for the medicine cabinet or, you know, what I'm about to do. So here is the lovely medicine cabinet. We could get a new one, but they're expensive. Um, and I'd rather just fix this one up and use it for now. And then if we do decide to like do over the whole bathroom at some point, then, you know, I could pick something totally different if I want. Um, but anyway, I think this is, I think this part is real wood, but I'm sure part of this is not real wood. But anyway, that's what it's looking like in here. The shelves are, I gotta take all this stuff off, but the shelves are really damaged. So I'm gonna be cutting out the shelves with like a Dremel tool that has like a wood cutter on it. So I'm gonna cut these out because I can't take them out. They don't even like slide out, they're just in there. So the shelves are gonna go bye-bye. I bought a new piece of wood that I'm gonna be making new shelves out of, and then I have like little things for it to rest on that I'm gonna be putting into here. Hi. I'm also gonna be spray painting the hardware, so I'm gonna take all the little hardware off. I got new knobs that I'm gonna put on, spray paint that hardware too. So yeah, I've got some big plans for this. We'll see, hopefully, you know, it looks a lot better when I'm done. But for right now, I'm just gonna empty out the medicine cabinet and try to take the doors off. Wow, that's heavy. That's heavier than I thought it was gonna be. It's crazy. All right, so I have a Dremel, my little tool. I used this to cut a piece of baseboard that was behind the toilet that I couldn't get out. So I have a wood, um, blade, I guess it's called <laughs> on there. And yeah, I'm gonna try to cut the shelves out of there. I got my protective eye gear on too. shelf gone Woo! there we go shelves are out got them right here made a mess those are garbage. Now I gotta clean up inside of here. Actually, you know what? I'm well. Yeah, I'm gonna wipe that out because there's a lot of sawdust or whatever. Um, but then I'm gonna sand the whole thing. Okay, I'm getting ready to spray paint. I got. I'm gonna show you what I've got. I'm spray painting the hardware, like the. I don't know what these are called. Little door, the door hinges, I guess. Um, this is what they look like. They're pretty rusted out and I just don't really like the gold color, especially because I'm painting the medicine cabinet white. I just didn't think the, I don't know. I didn't want to do gold and white. So yeah, I'm gonna spray paint those. I got Rust-Oleum Metallic. That's the color. It's, what is it called? Bronze something bronze. I don't know, Antique Brass. That's the color. So it's supposed to be good for metal. So I'm gonna use that and then I'm also spray painting the screws because I was thinking when I was gonna do this, I was like, well, I need to do the screws too because then the screws would be a different color. And then I looked up online like a how to spray paint screws and this was the idea I got to stick them into cardboard so that they're not going anywhere. And then you could spray paint them like just the fronts of them right on there. So yeah, I'm gonna do this. So it's day two of my medicine cabinet makeover. Noah is sleeping, so now I've got a little bit of time to work on it. Um, I'm going to paint the two doors outside. I have them on the table. Um, I'll show you in a second. I want to show you what paint I'm going to use though. 
So I got this from Home Depot, Bare Premium Plus Interior, Exterior, High Gloss Enamel. I remember using a paint like this. I'm not sure if it's the same one, um, but I remember using it. I remember using it for bathroom shelves in the old little apartment that we used to live in. I painted the shelves in the closet and I used something like that. And I remember it said glass-like finish and that's what this one says. And it was really good. It was just like really durable, really hard finish and easy to like wipe clean, stuff like that. So that's what I wanted. So I'm not sure if this is exactly the same thing. It probably is, um, but I just have a little jar of it. And I have foam brushes this time. I'm not sure, I don't know. I feel like the foam might be better for not leaving like brush strokes on it. But I have this one, this is like a craft brush and it's kind of messed up a little on the top. So I don't know, I have that one. And then this one actually came from the paint store, but it's very sunny out today, but I have both doors. I have it all taped off and sanded down and I'm ready to go. try to cut a piece of wood. I don't even know what this thing is that I have, but I have some kind of saw. Oh, there's a bee! Bees, get away from me! There's a big bumblebee over there. It likes those plants. Anyway, this is the thing that I have. I know I don't have the battery in it yet, but some kind of saw. Ryobi something. I've never used it before. I have my piece of wood. I marked where I want to cut right here and I marked a little bit bigger than I want it to be so that I could file it down or like sand it down a little bit until it fits like perfectly. So I got it on these things. I don't know if I'm supposed to be like having this held down on here somehow. I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing guys. I'm just trying to cut a piece of wood. So we're gonna try. All right, you know what? Change of plans. That blade on there is bent. You can tell that that is crooked. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be or if it's broken. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I know Greg tried to use it to cut down like the treehouse thing that was back there. And I don't know if that happened while he was trying to do that. So I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or what. But I decided I'm not going to use this. I'm going to try to use the Dremel again. And I'm just going to try to be very careful and do it straight. So yeah. still painting. It's the same day. I'm doing the second coat on the doors and the inside the cabinet in the bathroom that's like in the wall. Um, I want to show you what this looks like right now because it does not look great <laughs> and I'm crossing my fingers that once I put like maybe three coats. So I'm doing the second coat now but I feel like it's still gonna need another coat after that so maybe after the third coat it will look good. But that is what one coat looks like on this door. Yeah it's very blotchy it's not looking very nice. Um, I'm putting the second coat on over here. So we'll see. So it's now day three of working on the medicine cabinet. Um, it's already like 6.30. I haven't had a chance to work on it yet today, but I'm gonna go outside. <laughs> Noah's trying to say hi. I'm gonna go outside and spray paint the shelves that I cut. I know, I'm, I, know I said I was cutting the shelves, but I don't know if I actually showed you them. Um, so I'll show you them and I'm gonna spray paint them first with where is it it's outside it's like kills brand um i don't know i'll show you but the reason i want to spray paint well it's getting confusing <laughs> i want to spray paint those because no no uh, no no so these are my shelves that i cut and they're a little uneven i could not get a straight line i tried sanding it down until it was like flat but even that is really hard to do but they do fit where I need them to go. So 
hopefully, you know, once I put stuff in the medicine cabinet, you won't even be able to tell that they're not completely straight. But I'm going to be spray painting them with this Kills Interior Primer. Um, just because I've been having a hard time, like, covering the wood on the doors that I've been painting, it's just taking forever. Like, I'm already on three coats of paint and you can still, like, it's still not covered completely. So I'm going to try to do a primer and then the other like the enamel paint on top of it and hopefully it'll be like better coverage. So here is the big uh, cabinet door and this is three coats of paint on here and it's still it's pretty good but there's still some spots where I feel like it needs another coat like right around here up here so yeah I'm gonna do one more and then hopefully that will be good but I think like I want to paint the back of the door too so that when you open the door you don't see like this ugly back of the door um, but I think I'm gonna give this a coat of, of uh, the primer like the spray paint primer also that way like I said I hopefully I won't have to do that many coats of like the other paint so I kind of wish that I spray painted them like from the beginning and not like doing it with a brush but I felt like it would be hard to get into like the crevices and the corners of like the door without having it like drip and stuff so I don't know I just felt like it wouldn't it wasn't like a flat surface to just spray paint but I don't know people spray paint everything so I probably would have been able to do it. If I ever paint another medicine cabinet I'll probably spray paint at least the doors like I wouldn't be able to do the cabinet in the bathroom. Um, spray paint might have been easier. It is now day four of the medicine cabinet makeover. Yesterday, I think it's day four anyway, I lost I lost track. Yesterday we weren't home at all. We went to my mom's house. The kids were swimming and stuff. Um, so I didn't get any work on this. Actually, no, that's not true. I did do something last night. I gave the doors a final coat of paint on the front of them and I did a first coat of paint on the shelves. So this is what the doors are looking like. I had such a hard time getting good coverage on these and I really think it's because I didn't do a primer coat. So if I ever paint anything wood again, I'll make sure that I do a primer coat. Um, but yeah, that is what that looks like. It's looking pretty good. This is the back of it with two coats of primer. And I did a primer coat on the my two shelves also. That's the primer coat and then that's with one coat of like the paint enamel or enamel paint. Um, but it, I think it covered a lot better than it would have if I just did the enamel. So lesson learned, I think that a primer is helpful. Like I wasn't even thinking about the primer as like helping with coverage for some reason. I was just thinking of it as like helping with adhesion, but I figured I didn't need it because I sanded the cabinet doors really well before I painted. So that's why I was just thinking, you know, I don't need a primer, but yeah, I feel like if I did one, I wouldn't have had to do so many coats of paint. There's like literally four coats of paint on the doors. So I hope that doesn't end up being a bad thing where like they're peeling or chipping or anything like that. Cause that would really suck. Right now though, I'm going to take off the tape and see how that actually helped keeping like paint off the door. So let's actually peel some of this off. If there is any paint on the glass, it should be easy enough to get it off, hopefully. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's sticking like underneath. It's super annoying. It's now day five, I think, of this medicine cabinet thing. My gosh, it's taking a long time. <laughs> um, the longest, the part that's taking the longest is the painting and like how many coats I had to do and having to wait for it to dry in between coats and then just like running out of time where I could actually paint. Um, but the doors are done. I just had to do a little bit of retouching on both of them. I had to do a little bit yesterday on the other one. I did a little bit on it today. I made like the worst mistake that I learned when I was painting like all the rooms and everything and that's when you use a painter's tape you need to take it off when the paint is still wet otherwise it might like it's going to dry and then when you peel the paint or when you peel the tape off it's going to take the paint off like 
it's gonna just like go right over onto where you want to keep the paint. Does that make sense? Like it's not gonna rip. It's not gonna rip smoothly. It's gonna like peel paint off where you actually want the paint to be there. Um, so that's kind of what happened on the doors a little bit. I took the paint, or my gosh, I can't talk. I took the tape off of here and it lifted up a little bit along the edge in here. So I had to retouch a little bit. Um, well, what I'm about to do now is, let me show you. I have this contact paper and this is my plan. For the inside of the cabinet, I saw this on Pinterest where they took like, I don't think it was contact paper. I think it was stick on wallpaper. So I'm actually not sure how the, well this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try. I have this leftover from, I used it in a closet a couple houses back. <laughs> um, I'm gonna fit it in here. So that way when you open the cabinet doors, it'll be like this pop of like pattern and color back there. And I think that will look really cute. So that is what that looks like. I think it came out so good. I really like it. I hope that it stays. That's the only thing I'm worried about is that it's gonna like unstick itself, especially being in the bathroom, even though we do have like the fan, which is on right now. Um, even though we do have the fan, I'm still worried that it's gonna like peel off. And if it does, I still have more. Um, I'll just put it back on again and spray like an adhesive behind it if that happens. Um, and yeah, there is like a, there is a seam I had to overlap and it's not perfect, but when you look at it quickly, I don't think you like, you really even see it. Um, so yeah, I just put the hardware back on the doors. I think I'm going to wrap this project up tonight. I'm trying to get the doors back on. That's what I'm going to do now. So I got the doors back up at first. I put the hardware on like backwards. <laughs> so I was like trying to figure it out. I was like, why is this not working? I'm so confused. And then yeah, I realized I put it on backwards, so I had to take it all off, switch it, put it back on. Um, hey, let me show you what it looks like. So uh, that's what I've got so far. I'm not going to show you like with the doors closed yet because I want that to be like when I'm really, really done. Um, but I forgot that I still need to put the shelves up. So I'm not going to be able to finish this tonight because I have to drill, I think, like little holes so that I can put my little pegs for the shelves and I have to like measure and all that. So that's going to have to wait till tomorrow, but it's coming along. Okay, so the medicine cabinet is finally done. It looks so good. I'm so happy with how it came out. Um, definitely learned a lot during this little makeover, um, but I think it looks really good. It looks, it doesn't look like an eyesore anymore to me. Um, Ta-da! There it is. I think it looks so cute. My favorite part of it, actually, I'm not sure. I have two favorite parts of it. One of my favorite parts is this part right here. Let me see if I have a clip that I can add in to show you guys. So you remember what that side of the cabinet looked like before. It had like some weird decal on it. And then even after I took the decal off, you could still see like the outline of it. I don't know, it was really weird. So anyway, my idea for this was to get some window cling. I got this from Amazon. Um, it's that stuff that you can put over a window or a door to give it like a frosted appearance so you can't see through it. I mean, light will come through, but it will distort the view or whatever. Um, I thought it would work on here and it did. It worked out so well. Um, if you really look, you can kind of still see through it, but I think it looks so much better. Like when you just look at it, you just see the design on there. And I thought it was like a little vintagey looking and I think it looks perfect with this type of old medicine cabinet. And what it is, is this, it's, I got on Amazon, it's called Rabbit Goo Window Film. That's what it's called. But had really good reviews and yeah so I have extra of it so I think I'm gonna put the extra on the bathroom window and then I won't have to have like a shower curtain hanging there to like as like a makeshift curtain. Now for the inside this is also one of my favorite parts. Look how cute that looks. I love it. I just love like the pop of something inside the cabinet. It's just contact paper. I got my shelves up before. They're pretty good. They're a little bit 
sometimes it's a little bit wobbly, but whatever, it'll be fine. It was my first time trying to put shelves up. Um, so yeah, there we go. I really, really like it. I'm so happy with how it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little medicine cabinet makeover and I'm really glad I didn't include this in the whole bathroom makeover that I'm doing because this actually took a while. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all for my next video. Bye!